There's nowhere in Afghanistan like Shindand Air Base. A graveyard of aircraft surrounds the perimeter, a reminder of the base's origins during the Soviet invasion. While inside, Afghan pilots train on ultra-modern million-dollar equipment donated by the United States. Although it's new, having been created only two years ago, the Afghan Air Force is going to be capable of supporting all the ground operations with troop movement, cargo movement and supplying and deploying people all over Afghanistan. It's a huge task, but Afghan flight crews and pilots are already supporting their comrades in the field using two very different aircraft, the Cessna 208 aeroplane and the MI-17 helicopter. The advantage of the combination between fixed wing and rotary wing is providing a comprehensive capability. We use the fixed wing to reach long distances and so transport large numbers of people and materials between two airfields. On the other hand, the advantage of rotary wing is the possibility to land in really remote places where there are no airfields, where there is no assistance on the ground, and so it's useful to support ground forces in really remote places. A terrain such as Afghanistan offers a large number of geographical challenges, with pilots needing to practice a variety of challenging maneuvers. Single engine failure or both engine failure, hydraulic off or autopilot off, in dust landing, uh, uh, dust approach, uh, uh, rolling landing. In Just a few uh, of the maneuvers trainee pilot Lieutenant Jalali must master before he's able to step into one of the small MD-530 training helicopters on the airfield. But it's not just an important day for him. Today he's being trained not by one of the joint team of Italian, American and Hungarian mentors, but by the first ever Afghan instructor pilot qualified within the country. Uh, when I was uh, uh, too young, uh, also that time I like uh, my this job, I like pilot and uh, always I uh, try more, try so uh, for future uh, uh, I, uh, I, I will be pilot and now I'm very happy so I'm pilot. Colonel Quadradula has been flying since the days of the Soviet invasion, but is pleased to finally have an internationally recognized qualification, which he'll use to qualify a whole new generation of Afghan pilots, even if it's just one at a time right now. But it's not just the terrain that offers challenges. Pilots at Shindand are training in a real combat environment with real dangers. Still, Italian trainers say the curriculum they teach is not modified from international standards. The way we train pilots in Afghanistan is the same that we use in Italy or in Hungary or in America. But we have to keep in mind that we're in an operational environment and not in a normal situation. We train like we would fight. Train as we fight. The build-up of the Afghan Air Force is due to continue for at least another three years beyond 2014. By 2017, they're expected to reach full operational capability. With a 100% graduation rate from the pilot school so far, Shindand has made an impressive start. But the 2017 deadline for a standalone Afghan Air Force will depend on the will of the Afghan government and the continuing support of the international community after 2014. Ruth Owen in Afghanistan for the NATO Channel.